So when I fish for kings, I cut more of the bait more of an angle this way, see? Uh -huh. we'll, we'll cut a silver bait, too. Now, tell me about behind the head. Well, right back here, see this bone here? Yeah. You don't, you can't cut into that. You want to be just behind that. So you can get up there, you know, because you're going to have a little bit of angle there anyway. I try to get up close to this gill, this bone underneath the gill plate here. Okay. Right there. Boy, that knife is dull. Use mine. Okay. Okay, now what do you got? Let's see what I got. See, I got about 45. Sometimes I go back and I'll just... There's just a hair here I'll clean off. Uh-huh. That's nothing. Anyway. Okay. Do another one. Because yeah, I don't want the belly on that one. And then you go like this. See what I mean about being... It's a little higher than what you right. think it is. So what you want to do, and now you see where this little fat mark is right here? Right. That's the good spot right there because it's where the meat divides. So you just yeah. want to be, okay, God, that's a sharp hook. And small, besides my hands are frozen. Okay, what you want to do is stick that hook in. Close to the skin you can get it, but don't get the skin. Okay. Come back as far as you can this way. Staying above the backbone. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're back. It's far to the bend, you know, you can only go so far in. Mm -hmm. And when you go to that point, and then you have the fish here, these two fingers, and then you turn it. Let's see? Now, see, you don't want the hook to be too small. See how I'm coming over to the center of the backbone here now? Turn it a little bit so I can see it better. See? Uh -huh. Right in here? Okay, now lift okay. it up. Mm -hmm. then I'll, the only thing you can do now is turn. Okay. Okay, you turn it. Until you get to a certain point where you got enough where you can where you can pull it through, mm -hmm. you grab it up here. And a good thing to do is turn the hook. Turn well, it doesn't make any difference. Anyway, don't try not to get the skin. Mm -hmm. Keep it on in the meat. Boy, that bucket comes through nice. Boy, what a nice bait. Then you pull that baby through. Mm -hmm. Pull it out. Follow this one right behind the same trail, and you can feel the trail because it'll be a little looser, mm -hmm. you know, from the head of the other one going through. So I'm pulling a little meat through there. That's not good. Okay. See how I turn the hook a little bit so the head don't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pull on the skin? Mm -hmm. And then I come back behind this hole. See what I want to do now is I want to be up close to the up here, mm -hmm. to the to the eye. So I'll come back about, oh, about a half inch. So you're back here by this backbone. Because mm -hmm. you want the bone to go through the dorsal mm -hmm. fin that goes down. Okay, so I'll go back about that far. Okay, lift it up more so I can see it better. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll push it in as far back towards this dorsal as I can get it. Mm -hmm. No, you can only go so far, and then you're going to have to make a bend. So you can stay on that side of the dorsal. Mm -hmm. And I can go a little lower on that. Let me see, what do you mean, it's lower? Down here. Uh -huh. What I'm saying, you got to be above the backbone, of course. So, okay. See? And then once you get that, that far, you just make your bend. Mm -hmm. Like this. Push it up in there a little bit. And then come back. Make sure this hook is out of the way. Hold your hook right here. Mm -hmm. And just pull, get a little, tiny little tug to the center, mm -hmm. to the backbone. Right. And your bait's set. And I usually trail this hook. Now, this hook I wouldn't have any trouble trailing because it won't get hung up in the tail. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's too long, you know, it's going to come up here, get hung up in the tail anyway.
just it's dead center back there? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. That's where you want it. That's the bait. And that's the spin. You always got to keep a little bend in your rod, see? So you know that bait stays back there so it don't come up on your line. Until you get a little bit of a current going. Sometimes I'll put the motor in and get a little drift going and then... That's right at the bottom. Once you get about halfway down, you start getting a better angle on the line. into your rod real even so a fish comes up and bites on her you know you're ready to reel or feed it some bait that's what I did on that last fish you see me feed it the bait right a lot of times they come up and bat it they'll screw it a little bit a king well oh, not so much a black mouth but a king well at the bottom there I just go like this Bad of a drift going now. The angle's about right. 